In this video, we'll write the equation for CaI2 plus H2O. That's calcium iodide plus water. Calcium is a metal, and then iodine, that's a nonmetal. So when we have a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound, and we need to think about ions. If we go to the periodic table, calcium, that's in group 2, so it's going to have a 2 plus charge. And then iodine in group 17, sometimes called 7A, that has a 1 minus charge. Since we have two iodines, that gives us a negative 2 that cancels out the positive 2 here. So it's a neutral compound. We put the calcium iodide into water. Calcium iodide is a solid. Water is the liquid. And it dissolves. When it dissolves, it dissolves into its ions. We say it dissociates. So we have Ca2+, plus, and then we have the iodide ion, I-. minus. Since we have these two iodine atoms here, in the CaI2, we really do need to put a coefficient of 2 in front of the I, so this is balanced. We have two iodines here, and we have two iodide ions here. Since we dissolved the solid in a liquid, we can say that it's aqueous. We dissolved it in water, and aqueous means dissolved in water. So we write Aq, and this shows that these ions, they're dissolved in the water. Because of that, we don't need to write H2O on this side of the equation. That makes this the equation for calcium iodide plus water, CaI2 plus H2O. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.